What would the world be like without the United States Armed Forces? Throughout modern history, citizens of the world have relied on the strength and courage of our brave men and women to restore freedom and hope on our planet. It did not matter whether the cry for help came from a remote Asian jungle, an African desert, or a downtown street in Europe. The result was always the same. In many instances, these brave young Americans had only two things in common. Their future was uncertain at best, and they would call Kern County home. It should come as no surprise that thousands of people that we call friends and neighbors are known as heroes to the rest of the world. When the call came, strong national pride, a commitment to freedom, and youthful exuberance inspired these young heroes. A wise American president once warned that the nation which forgets its defenders will itself be forgotten. Hello, I'm John Hefner, and I'm very proud of the fact that nearly 10 years ago, the citizens of Kern County resolved that we would never forget our veterans. We resolved to honor these heroes by creating a stunningly beautiful Veterans Memorial in tribute to their service. And now, we are one halfway there. In a grand ceremony in 2007, phase one of the memorial was completed and dedicated and it has now become a countywide focal point of patriotic pride. The Wall of Valor will consist of eight huge glass panels on which will be etched the names of all the nearly 1,000 Kern County citizens who have been killed in combat since World War I. And we know that our war dead number, 1,000, because of the amazing research efforts by a local high school history class led by teacher Ken Hooper. Welcome back. Local high school students are putting their mark on history, helping to honor hundreds of forgotten Kern County War veterans who fought and died for our country. 17's Victoria Spillabody has this story. The problem is you need one that says casualty lift list and it mentions Taft. Yeah. An army of students in Ken Hooper's Bakersfield High School history class are fighting to discover Kern's lost veterans killed and missing in action. Click on the side over there. It says casual, the second one now says casualty list. The project started three years ago when the Kern Veterans Memorial Foundation asked students to write biographies for about 450 Kern military killed in combat. But through research, the students found the list of names wasn't accurate, and they began their quest to fill a gap in history. There's no one for World War I. World War II was incomplete. Um, we had a pretty good list for Korea and Vietnam, and Iraq and Afghanistan was where it was at. So we kept looking. Students used archives from the Bakersfield Californian and other records to find names of more vets from Kern County. The reference refers to the June 25th newspaper. We have like Mojave, Wasco, Bakersfield, Taft, Delano, all these different places, and we're just trying to find where they come from and where they have served. That list of 450 soon grew to more than a thousand veterans whose names were never recorded. The bravery from Kern County is extensive. We were the, the men and women from Kern County were in every major military battle in American history. They were in the, the, the Argonne Force in World War I. They were on the beaches of D-Day. They were killed at Pearl Harbor. And we want to develop stories on each of them so we can get more and more uh, information so it can be used for educational reasons. The names of those killed in action will be inscribed on the Wall of Valor, which is phase two of the Kern County Veterans Memorial. Without Hooper and the students' work, vets say the wall would have been missing hundreds of heroes. So what will the Wall of Valor mean to our local students, citizens, and veterans, both now and for generations to come? I'm John Clark, and I'm here with retired Marine Corporal Jeremy Stott, who served as a machine gunner in Iraq. Jeremy, what do you think a, a, a monument like this, a memorial and a wall of valor will mean to our veterans? You know, stuff like this means a lot to us just to come home and see that, you know, our community hasn't forgotten about us. Because once we stop remembering our veterans, it's kind of when the, the whole uh, of why we served 
kind of goes away. Once we stop remembering our veterans, we kind of forget why, why we have the things we have today. You know, our, our schools and our children are considering being a part of this. What would you say to kids? Why would it be important for them to be part of this? Well, Don, I think it's extremely important that kids understand that the freedoms that we have today were given, a, were bought by the blood of patriots, and they need to understand that, you know, these veterans, what they did unselfishly serving, gave them an opportunity to get educated and have the stuff that we have today. I mean, being in Iraq and seeing what schools are there, um, the kids here have no idea what it is to have a desire for a pencil, a piece of paper. I mean, at least here, those things are freely given to them almost on a daily basis. And I think it's really important that kids understand that uh, the freedoms that we have today were, were bought with a heavy price. God forbid, but there could be future wars in our children who are children now could be called to serve as you have served. George Washington said, uh, if we don't honor the veterans of the past, uh, our children will not fight the wars of the future. Do you agree with that? Oh, absolutely. We have to give back to those who came before us. And like I said, for, my, uh, for what I did, I was just doing my part. Uh, I just went out there and served like the guys that served before me, the men and women that came before me, just to honor them and just having to be, a, you know, just trying to get a part of what what they've done. I mean, I owe them everything. And for me to serve alongside, you know, other uh, young men and women who have also made that uh, the unselfish sacrifice to go out there and do their time, you know, it meant a lot to me. And I just, uh, I'm just glad that we have a country like we have today that we can serve and do these things. And I'm greatly indebted to those who came before me. The Wall of Valor is a cause that is stirring support throughout the community, throughout the county, including an unprecedented show of media unanimity, media support with all of our television stations, all of our radio stations coming out on one day to urge everyone in the county to push this project over the top. The Wall of Valor will be a constant reminder to all generations that the freedom we enjoy to be teachers, students, and educators in a free land was won for us by the ultimate sacrifice that fallen heroes have made on our behalf. It's time to give these heroes the honor they deserve. We invite you, the leaders, the teachers, and the students of Kern County to be part of building this wall of valor. And when the job is done, we want you to be part of the grand celebration to mark such a great event. Thank you.